Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So today I'm showing you a new product that I bought for my Tesla and um, I didn't spend too much money on this because it wasn't really planned. So recently I noticed when I'm driving a lot uh, or sit outside in my lunch break in my car that the sun really pushes inside the cap through the glass roof and the glass roof is really really tinted but if you don't have much hair or a little bit sensitive for uh, the sun you feel it you constantly feel that your forehead and your head gets warm because that sun pushes on it all the time so even when you put a nice sunshade in the front windshield while you're parked you feel that sun coming through the roof and you wouldn't think so because it's so tinted but believe me it does so i went online and i want something fairly inexpensive that i can put in during the summer and remove for the fall and winter so i found this product here it's from uh, cyber beans weird name you know and yeah you guessed it, it comes from china and I ordered that on Amazon and I put uh, that it comes in two halves, one for the front, one for the rear. And I put the front half in so I can demonstrate it, show you what it looks like and uh, what it comes with. So let's hop in and have a look at it. Okay, here we go. Before we do that, we'll need to turn the music off. We don't want to have um, get flagged by YouTube. All right, have a look. See, this is it. It comes with these clamps here. Is that focus? I hope it does. See, the clamps. You can put as many on as you want. It comes with a ton of clamps. And then you just snap it right in. And I tried to zoom out here so you can see it better. There you go. And this is what it looks like. And I wanted to go outside, but as, as always, we have a bad thunderstorm coming. The weather's pretty miserable out there. And this will keep the sun out, away from my head, hopefully, and um, keep me from being sunburned while being in the Tesla. Nah, I'm kidding, I don't get sunburned, it's just uncomfortable. And here's the rear. You can see where there's nothing. So, see what it looks like. I'll hop out, and show you better. Here we go. The color is okay. It's supposed to match the Tesla. It's a little dark here now, but um, if I ever do a review of the car outside, I'll show it a little more. Um, this thing here is flexible, of course, and it takes away a little bit of headroom, but not much at all. Uh, what else was in the ba in the package? Let's go look. It was of course that, and I want to unzip this. I don't have my GoPro, so I do this with my phone and with one hand it's not smart there you go i have it open let's put it in the trunk okay we have the product itself this thing here you pull on it and it unfolds it flops open carefully it doesn't jump in your face as i said it's called cyber beans there you go and then you have these two guys here and i'm not sure what they want me to do with this this says it's for the model y for the front and it is a um kind of a sunshade type of deal look and i didn't pay for this i mean i only ordered the stuff for the roof this just came with it it has a velcro there's velcro on this side and you open it up and there's like a reflective surface here so i think it's for the front windshield in the model y which is a good idea but where do you velcro it on do you know i don't know um i will have to try this and see if this works but it's a little flimsy. I'm not sure I will use this very often. And there is that one that comes for the windshield right here. And there's another one for the rear window here. Very interesting. So I guess if you go camping or something, you can put that on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so on my lunch break, I just do a normal um, windshield, uh, sun shield in, whatever they are called. I can't find the word right now. One of these here. 
okay? I put that one on and that's good enough, okay? That's good enough. So yeah, that's it. Now, now what we're gonna do is I will unfold this and try and see if it even sticks on the windshield. Okay, I'll let you know. Hold on Here one second. Here we go. This is supposed to be an extra shield uh, for the sun that you can put on top of on top of this uh, this screen here, this sunscreen. I'm not convinced. I'm not gonna lie. This is the size is not really fitting. Uh, it, it feels loose. I think it's just, it'll just flap around. You'll hear noise. It will rattle or something. I don't know. I may try it just to try it, but I'm not convinced. I I don't think I'll do that. I mean, you might as well put it in a garage window here or something. Which it's it's during the day outside. It's windy. It's really windy outside with the thunder storms. So it looks like I'm filming in the middle of the night, but I, in fact, I'm not, you know? It's just, uh, it will be five o'clock. Yeah, um, okay, that's the product, Cyber Beans. Uh, I have it in there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'll go on a test drive tomorrow when the sun is out and pushing, and I'll see how I like it, you know? And I'll keep you updated. If I like it, I'll let you know. So, video's not over yet. Hang on, I'll go test drive it and we'll talk when I'm in the car. So I've driven around a couple of times now with the um, sunshade in and uh, it's very sunny right now. Look at the sun out here. Let's see, there we go. Super sunny as you can see on my dash here. Um, tinted windows on the side, a little less, but still. And then we'll look at the back here, pretty dark, uh, pretty dark glass but still you get that sun on you. Now with this here, it seems to work fine. See the sun right there? So it is barely, the sun barely comes in with this new uh, sunshade here. So I like it. I think this will help me a lot in the summer when I sit in the car, when, of course, when I drive too. But for some reason, when you sit in the car, you can feel it more. I did not put in the back, the, the rear part of it. Uh, I know, I have kids, they like to look out at the window, uh, the roof too. So I haven't put that in yet. Now, if we drive and they start complaining about it, we'll put that in too. But for now, I'll just put the front here on and um, I think that will help me a lot. By the way, I see that's kind of a little bit of dirt there. I'll have to clean that off. Uh, that's why I prefer black uh, interiors you know, and black headliners. You know, that looks a lot, a lot better than this color here. But sadly in the Tesla, that's all you get. You cannot get it in black. All right, so uh, yeah, this was from Amazon. Didn't cost a whole bunch. It's called Cyber Beans. Right there, Cyber Beans upside down. And um, yeah, it's a Chinese product, but it seems to do the job. These clamps work good too. I didn't put too many in. I could put a little couple more in so it's a little tighter but you know it will always sag a little bit and there's still plenty of headroom so far um goodbye i uh, i like this i like this product and uh, i would recommend it if you are bald and complain about the sun hitting your head in your tesla that being said wish you a wonderful day please subscribe and please like thanks